Adding borders to your thumbnails can help distinguish your thumbnails from others, especially if you add the same border to all of your designs. Start off on the Canva homepage, search for thumbnails. Ask me in the comments if you want to know why you should do this each time, even if you create a design on your own. I'm going to show you the technique of creating a basic border. Type R on your keyboard. A square will show up on your blank canvas. Size the square to the dimension of your thumbnail. You will see a panel at the top for customizing the shape. Select Border Style, which will be next to the color of your shape. Select the solid line. For now, we're going to leave it at 4. Go to the solid color box because we are going to select a new color, or rather, lack of color. Choose the transparency option. This leaves us with a solid border that we can use for a thumbnail. The border is small, but we can increase the weight of the border once we apply it to a thumbnail. You can apply this technique to any template you like. Add a page to your document so you have room to add a template. Let's see what a border looks like on this gaming template. Go back to the border you've already created. Use your keyboard shortcut to copy and paste it onto the thumbnail you've chosen. For this template, I think the solid border might be a bit too thin. Select border style and increase the weight of it. I personally find 12 to be the perfect match to this particular template. Let's look at the same exact border on a YouTube versus template. Select the border color option. You can make the border any color you want, although you might want to stay away from red. When someone visits your homepage, the timeline is red of videos that they've already seen. Let's look at another option with a third template. This one actually looks really great with a solid line, but let's look at the dotted line options. Select border style. There are three line options here. As they are changed, the weight stays the same. You can experiment with the weight of the dotted line too. Canva quick tip time. Be sure to position your border where you want it. In this example, it covers up a key aspect of the thumbnail. You can right click to position it backwards until it's in the right spot. There, that's better. Next up, what about a border that has rounded edges? Go to border style and move corner rounding to your desired roundness. For this one, I went all the way up to 100. This gives it a very unique look with the corners hanging out. But next, I'm going to show you how to use the Draw app in Canva to create something amazing. I used the same border on this template, except for I changed it to white and increased the weight of it. Select the More tab and create something new with the Draw Beta app. If you need more lessons on this particular feature in Canva, let me know in the comments. Select the marker brush and choose the color to match your border. Carefully color all four corners around the border. Use caution not to draw inside the border, but if you make a mistake, you can always use the erase brush before you click Done. Once you are finished, Click Done. This becomes its own image. You can send it to the back, and this gives the thumbnail a very cool look. You might see some edges that you don't like, and in that case, all you need to do is add a tiny rectangle to those corners, and it should cover it up just fine. The most important thing for you to know is that you will go through growth as you create thumbnails, and it's okay to experiment as you become more experienced using Canva. If you want to learn how to use the new shape feature to create lower third animations for your videos, check out the recommended video in the description. If you like today's Canva tutorial and want to see more like it, make sure that you are subscribed, and I'll see you next time. Bye!